to KPJP Florida and I'm KP. How are you all doing? Another video. Yes. In my happy place when I'm making videos. Videos for me are fun, fun, fun. So if you want a bit of fun and you're enjoying, leave some comments below. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Ding, ding, ding bell as well so you get notified every time I upload, which is every Wednesday, Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, so today, what are we doing, KP? Well, today, baking. This is a baking vlog. And at this moment in time, as I stand here, I've got so many ideas, I'm not actually sure what I'm gonna bake. So, keep watching, and let's figure this out. Standing here, thinking what we're gonna bake. You've already seen it, because it's on the thumbnail. Unless I make it a cryptic thumbnail and go, what did we bake today? Hmm. Like a bit of clickbait. <laughs> Click cake bait. Clickbait cake. Right, okay, let's stop waffling on, waffling on, and let's go on. But if you have any ideas or any tips of anything that you want me to bake and hit the buttons below and type and let me know. Because um the Fem Fam obviously got me to do Hagrid's, which was really, really good. Uh, Hagrid's. The Fen obviously got me to do Hagwig, Hagwig the Owl, which was awesome. So I've decided to make, with my thing, a letter cake. A is for adorable. So come with me and let's get baking. <laughs> Love that. A is for adorable. Okie dokie. So what you're going to need are... So the ingredients to make, and they're gonna be down put down below, um, just a vanilla cake, or you can do a chocolate cake, you can do a carrot cake, you do whatever you want, but I'm gonna leave my ingredients that I use down below. And the letter A, I just did an A4 size A letter, printed it out, and that and cut it. Right, so as usual, I beat together my butter and sugar. And then it goes a lovely pale fluffy white because you know it goes from the yellow to a lovely white and then what we do we so slowly incorporate the eggs so then as you can see it's getting even more fluffy and beautiful then we're going to add our flour now my recipe calls for plain flour and self-raising flour so we're adding a little bit of both ingredients to help the uh cake be light and fluffy. Always sieve the flour. I incorporate that a little bit slower than what I normally do when I'm beating my eggs. And look at that, mm, yum. Added in the vanilla as well. So here I have got two baking trays that I you can use butter as your grease uh, lubricant. So that lubricant, <laughs> so that it doesn't so the cake doesn't stick to the pan and then I always dust it with flour as you know if you've watched any of my other videos but you can use butter or you can use anything here that you normally use to um, grease your tins. Also the size of the cake that you're cutting out depends on the size that you want it so if you wanted to bake a round cake and a smaller um, letter just do that. Now I have these tin liners that you've probably seen on my other videos and I just pop them in the bottom as well just to give it extra, you know, make sure that my cake doesn't stick at all. Um, these are just eight inch round that I've got from Lakeland from the UK but you can get from any online or shop. I'm just zooming in a little bit there so you can get a better view, a positioning of that camera. So I flour my tins to make sure that it doesn't stick both of those, very simple. I love making cakes. Comment below if you love making cakes and if you've got any ideas that you, um, or if you've done a cake and you want me to go and check it out on your page, I love that. Okay, so we're gonna put the mixture into the two tins. So we try and do it as evenly as possible that we can do by the eye at this point. Just get them both into the tins and then I weigh them. Yes, I know, a bit of a palaver, but if you're good at telling the weight without weighing them, then just do it like that. Otherwise, I weigh them. 
Okay, so let's see what they weigh at. <laughs> Okay, so that one is now one one five eight. And that's one one eight two. That's almost near enough okay for me. Let's get these all nice and even now. Okay, so the next step then is to um, even them all out. And the easiest way to do this is either the back of a spoon or I've got a little spatula. I've got a couple of spatulas that I do actually use in here. Um, but you can use the back of a spoon as well. So, and I turn the tray around like you see me doing there because it's just easier. Um, if you've got a Lazy Susan, that's even better as well. You can just put them on Lazy Susan and help spin them around. But yep, I use this tall, spa tall longer spatula as well but um, anything as long as it's nice and flat and as even as you possibly can. And yes, just tap the tin so that any air that is in there can come out as well. And then we're gonna do the second one exactly the same. This is why I said you could use chocolate, you can do a vanilla cake, banana cake, any flavor you want. I added vanilla to this one, so it was a lovely light vanilla cake. Okay, these have now been smoothed out and they're as even as I can be and I'm gonna bake them slow and low. <laughs> My little motto, slow and low. So they're gonna go in for um, 140 degrees oven and they will bake for approximately 30 minutes. It may be 20 minutes though, I'm gonna check on them. So they're gonna be quite thin, so I don't want them to burn. But yeah, low and slow, 140 Celsius. Celsius. JP has joined me in the kitchen. No, he doesn't. He's working hard. <laughs> so while the cakes are baking, we will start thinking about our to <laughs> oh, It is so hot today. So hot. I don't know when this video is going to go up, but it is. We're having a little um, mini heat wave in the UK, and uh, definitely need air conditioning. And it's probably not a best day to be baking, but hey. So we need to think about the tops. So I have got some flowers which were given to me at the weekend. So I'm probably going to use some flowers to decorate the top. We have the letter A. Um, not for any reason, however, um, as I am very fond of the Fen fam at the moment and their channel, A is for Amy. I will do this cake for Amy. Not that you can have it, <laughs> unless you want to travel down and see me, you can come and get it, of course. But So yeah, we're going to do A for Amy. So I was thinking, I have got some chocolates I can put on top. I was thinking maybe some dipping some strawberries in chocolate. So keep watching and let's see what we get up to. Cakes are beautifully cooked. I have put a little thing in and nothing's coming out. So stunning, just got a golden, a golden glow over them. So we're gonna let them cool down now and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, next step is the frosting. And as you can see, Nutella. What else goes better with a vanilla cake than chocolate? And Nutella is delicious. So I'm making a Nutella uh, frosting. So again, the ingredients are down below. Oh, that's looking good. I always put a little splash of milk in to make it all soft and delicious. And if you need to add more fondant, you just add more fondant, more rare frosting, you just add it. Look how easy that came out. A tap on its bottom of the tray and it pops right out, which is perfect. That's what helps with the flour and those lovely uh, lining. So here's my letter A and here's the bottom one. So I'm going to cut the shape out on the lovely sponge cake. So simple to do these cakes and look how spongy that is. Oh, that vanilla cake, it's delicious. I actually ended up giving quite a bit of the cake away to my neighbours and JP ate quite a lot. <laughs> and quite a lot and a lot and a lot. I always call these Scooby Snacks. Mm. 
Oh, and the best way to taste a cake as well, because sometimes when you make cakes for people, you can't always taste it and make sure that it's perfect. So this one, I was definitely able to taste it and it was delicious. Look, yum. So take all the bits away and um, cut out the middle piece as well. As you'll see, I do it a moment. And then that's our bottom layer that we can start getting ready to do our lovely Nutella frosting. Also, you'll see in a moment, I do actually put this onto a board. So a board or a plate of some sort would be extremely useful. If you're doing it for someone and for someone as a Prezi, you want it to look good as well. And you can get the boards from Amazon, you get them from eBay, Etsy, you know, everywhere. I'm not sure about Etsy, but everywhere you can pick these boards up. And Tesco's and Asda, you know, all your local shops. So yeah, I've got like a little cloud. So I'm doing the top one now. I'm just cutting that out. It's so quick to do as well, as you can see. It takes hardly any time at all. So once baked, print out your shape or your letter that you want to do. Mm, Scooby Snacks for JP. Trim the edges, make it look lovely and straight. Okay, next is putting the uh, frosting onto the cake. So I use a cup or something that I can put the bag inside to give you some stability when you're putting the frosting into the icing bag. Great little tip. Otherwise you've got to hold it and you've got to fluff around and then usually it gets all up my arm. So I just look, use this little cup. Perfect. If you don't have a nozzle, that's not a problem. Just make a little opening on the edge of the piping bag and just pipe it. This is where you get to see if the frosting is a perfect consistency or not. Oh look, and I have a hole in my bag. Yeah, <laughs> my bag split down the seam. What a drama. So I have to um, replace it. But here you go. Bag all replaced and KP back on, piping out, oh lovely, the Nutella frosting. Nothing more satisfying than doing this. Oh look, it's so pretty. And I have done another one before where I did lots of different colors. I'm not gonna tell you where that little bit of frosting went. <laughs> I may or may not eaten it. Perfect, so pretty. These are great little cakes that you could make for your husband, wife, mum or dad, nanny, granddad, and get the little ones to help you as well. Mm, yum, yum, yum. So this is the bottom layer. So we're just going all the way around, filling in all the little holes, and then we're going to place the top piece on top. At this point, you could put sprinkles, you could put chocolate chips on top of all that fondant, you could do whatever you need to do. There we go, we'll make it all lovely and even. I'm salivating at the fact that it's the uh, Nutella chocolate. Mm. And I know what it tasted like, it was so delicious. <laughs> it was so yummy. Don't forget if you're enjoying this video, give it a little thumbs up. So these are little flowers, look how cute. So what you could do here, you could do different colors. I did a few rosettes and then I did, yeah, I did little splodges. I just wanted to make it look a bit fun really. And I, ha I didn't do it, but I said at the beginning of the video, you can do flowers. You know, you just need some florist tape to tape around the bottom of the flowers and you can pop those in. I will do another one again where I will do the florist tape and I'll do some flowers. Um, but this one, I actually, as you see, well, I won't spoil it for you, but as you see, I did a different twist on this cake. Just as it was going a bit chocolatey with the Nutella. Um, yeah. It's looking good. Oh my goodness, look at these bad boys. Yep, they are going on. Mm, mm, mm. Ferrero Rochero. <laughs> oh my goodness, so bad, but so good. And then I had some little Toberones. 
some little tiny mini Toblerones. I just put those on as well. And you can imagine the beautiful smell that was coming from this cake. So you had the vanilla sponge, then the chocolate. Oh my gosh, just delicious. And those squares are from Giardelli's um, in Florida, Disney Springs. Oh, it's just looking chocolate heaven. If you're not a chocolate fan, you know what you can do. You can do fruit. So you can do complete strawberries, melons. Um, I'll do a fruit one, actually. No, I didn't put M&Ms on here as well. <laughs> yes, I did. Yeah, I will. I will actually do a fruit one for people who um, are not really chocolatey fans. And I'll um, do one of those to give you an idea what they look like. Oh, look. These are the peanut M&Ms as well. Mm. Doesn't stop there, guys. It gets more chocolate as well. This is just the start of the chocolate. It gets finished off with some yummy other bits as well. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> See all my wrappers there to the side. <laughs> oh, my goodness. If you've made one of these cakes, give it a comment below and just let us know that you've made one. How exciting. Curly whirly. Who's had a curly whirly? Yep, so I cut up a curly whirly and that is the icing on top of my cake. <laughs> As I said, the smells that came from it were delicious. You can't get too much chocolate, can you? If you're gonna go chocolate, you've got to go full on out chocolate. Oh yes, toffee, toffee and Cadbury's chocolate. Oh, it's a shame I actually didn't have, couldn't give this to the Fen fam for Amy because um, like I say, we ate the bottom part and I gave the top part to my next door neighbour who thoroughly enjoyed it. I have to say they have all my free cakes. <laughs> but um, yeah, ta-da, round of applause, yay. I hope this has given you some ideas and I hope you try this cake out. Like I say, I'll leave all the instructions below and um, enjoy it. And if you do do it, do do, then please tag me and let me know that you've given it a go because it is amazing cake. Oh, my screen's going all over the place now. <laughs> but thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit subscribe, like, notification bell. Catch you next time.